Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Let's start off with pricing too low. You guys already know how I feel about pricing and rates because we talked about it in part three of the UGC series. And going low not only affects you, it affects the industry as a whole. Imagine if you start charging $30, you start sharing that, other people start thinking that's the norm. Other people start charging $30 as well. More and more people start charging $30. Brands think it's okay to compensate $30 for a video when that's not okay. If you want to make more, add more value, but don't charge less. Number two, guys, I just checked my outline and I have an entire page so this might be two part. Back to number two though, not delivering the video the right way. When you deliver the video, if you're not doing it correctly, the quality lowers. If you send it through email, it gets compressed. If you send it through Instagram, please don't do that. It still gets compressed. Why do I recommend not doing that? It's not professional. So what's the right way to deliver a UGC video? You have options. You can use Google Drive. I personally love using pCloud. You upload that video to pCloud and then you'll send them that link. That link goes through email unless, unless the whole conversation has been through Instagram. That would be the exception. Other than that, keep it in your email. And then that's the link the person uses to download. That way you ensure the video is high, high, high quality until they receive it. Mistake number three, and this is a big one, guys. This could end bad. It's using music. So I don't know if you guys heard, but last week I actually read a news article about how Sony is suing Bang Energy because they're using copyrighted music in over like a hundred something videos. And guess what? If they wanted to, Sony could actually sue the influencers as well. They actually decided not to, but they could. So let's untap what this means for you. Number one, if the brand asked to do a UGC video with a trending song, with some type of music, which honestly, I just don't recommend it at all, but let's say they do. First of all, make sure they have the license to that music, that sound that they wanna use. Make sure it's not you using the sound and sending them the video with that sound already there. If they wanna add it on top from the platform they're using, so on Instagram, on TikTok, they select that song, that's something different. But uploading the video with the song, that's where it's a no-go. Another big part of this is contracts. Make sure to have your contract in place. Do not ever skip out on the contract part, no matter what the brand tells you. If they say, no, but we just don't have time. No, 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 no. No contract, no video. Do your research, know what you need to include in that contract. I added a brief outline of the sections I recommend inside the free UGC toolkit, which I'm linking below. Mistake number three, not knowing the format or style of the video they want. Ask if they want talking to camera, unboxing, they want something casual, they're looking to use it in ads, they wanna have a strong call to action. Get clear before saying yes and agreeing to the video. By the way, if you guys want a full video talking about all the formats there are, go ahead and comment format down below. Moving on to mistake number four, copying. Don't copy the brand's competition and don't copy something that the brand already has up unless they specifically told you, hey, this is working, we're looking to replicate it. Always use those videos as inspiration and then add in your twist. Big UGC mistake number five, not making it visually appealing specifically in terms of lighting. Let's be real, these videos are being measured based on performance. The better the video, the happier the brand, therefore more likely they are to buy again and refer you, meaning more UGC business for you. So how do you make this happen? Make sure they are happy with the final product. If it's too dark, it's better for you to take one day more and 
film in another location, go outside in the sunlight. Sunlight will always be your best friend if you see that the camera angle just is dark and it's just not as visually appealing. Light plays a huge part into video quality. It doesn't matter what type of phone camera device you're using, make sure that lighting is good and that video will always look 10 times better. And moving on to mistake number six. Creating a portfolio, beautiful design, you're using your brand's colors, it looks amazing, yeah, wonderful. But can the brand actually see it? Is it easy to click on the videos? If they click on the video, will it open up? Do they have to watch the videos in your tiny little Canva design? Can they swipe through? The portfolio is all about why they should pick you. So make it easy for them to pick you. My stomach is growling and therefore that means I need to go have lunch. So we're gonna leave it with mistake number six. You guys have a lot of work to do. Make sure you are not committing these terrible, terrible mistakes. Let me know if we're doing a part two, yes or no, in the comments down below. And as always, I'll see you right back here on the same exact channel next time. Bye-bye.